Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 18th episode of my RPG Maker VS8 video tutorials and in this episode I'll be going over how to make the three basic kind of NPCs. Now I have made this video, I have, I made this bit video before but I didn't really explain it to you as clear as I should have so I didn't upload that. And another thing is this video is also to service an update and I will be putting it on all three of my um, series. Mondays I'm going to be doing video tutorials which is this and today is Monday. Um, Thursdays I'm going to be making let's make an open world RPG. Saturdays I'm going to be doing let's plays. And that's basically going to be my schedule for at least a week or so. And then depending on how much I like the schedule I'm going to keep it or change it up a bit. But as for now, that's my schedule, so be expecting videos from me Monday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And each um, each day I won't just upload one video, but today I am going to upload one video. But each day I will upload at least one video, so I could upload more than one on those days of that um, series. So let's basically start this. Um, I went ahead, um, in my last video I made a new map which is the inn but as I've said I had to redo this tutorial so you won't really see me working on that so let me go ahead and open up this and I did set up the NPC already but I will be deleting it just so I will start over so there's three basic types of type of NPCs in RP and that's actually four basic type of NPCs in my opinion that I, that are in RPG Maker VS and the first one is regular NPCs that just walk around and stuff like actually five five types of NPCs one being the type of NPCs that just walk around the world just to make the world feel more alive the people that are just there for fillers that give you information like like just walking around and doing stuff second type is the in NPC which is Actually, let's change that back to four. I mean, I'm 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 undecided on this. Um, so the second type of NPCs are the NPCs that provide services to your world, meaning in shops and other stuff. Third, uh, fourth kind is the um is the NPC that provides side quest, and the last um type of NPC that are the NPCs that provide main quest. And in this episode, I'm going to be dealing with two of those i said three before but I, I wasn't counting it right but i'm going to be dealing with two of those although i'm going to be making three npcs um the first one is that um the let's start with the services because those are the easiest one you could possibly make so the um one of the the I'm gonna say two, although it's actually like four but the two main services in the game in rpg maker vs is the in I mean, you can make up the services like based on the scripts you're using and the systems you have set up in your game. But the main basic um, services are in and shops. So to make an in, that's an easy. You could go. You could make an in regularly, which I don't recommend. Or you could just go to start. I mean, quick event creation. Click the in or control four. Um, this is an interface that basically you get to pick what graphic you want your in person to be I'm gonna make it this old lady just for tutorial purposes and then you get to set how much you want to charge for that in and it does everything for you it sets up the script for you it pays the graphics for you and the amount of money that's charges everything is set up for you so it's basically as easy as clicking one two Basically clicking like five times and you get exactly what you want. Okay. Another kind of NPCs that do provide a service that you actually have to make on your own is the shops. So to make shops or make any regular NPCs, the first thing you always want to do is click on graphics and then pick, pick the graphics you want for that NPC. So let's find someone that looks like a blacksmith. Mm, blacksmith that's some that's a guy I had out here he is a guy I had in mind although he looks kind of evil and actually no yeah he looks kind of evil and weird let's find his original which is down here it is this one all right 
so that's going to be an npc we're going to keep that fixed right now because we want him to always be at the same place when we come back to him now we don't want him wandering around the whole map so we're going to keep him fixed in one position now to make a shop it's optional to actually provide some text so but i'm going to just for tutorial purposes i'm going to be showing you the text so i'm just going to be making him say for um first let me go ahead and do this there is a script that does this for you but i'm doing actually i'm doing it because i don't i don't want to go into the um face graphics but this is basically a way to show the player who is actually talking at this time and in this case is a blacksmith although that's a script that does this for you to set it up so it won't actually be in your text box and it will be like a little box on its own sitting on top of your text box so blacksmith what oops what can i do for you i really hope my mic is recording because i made a whole okay what can i do for you question mark or exclamation mark okay so he basically asked what I, what can i do for you and again this is optional you could go ahead and give it a short choice um I you want to see your um I require your services I require your services and choice to Let's make again. This is optional. You could leave this, or you could set it. I'm um, go ahead and breach. So I'm gonna be explaining to you what this I'm um, sure choice mean, but for now, just know that it's um, it's optional. So the main thing about setting up a shop is in the th third bar, and it's right here, shop processing. Now, when this um, when this interface pops up goods price and, pr and purchase only when you check purchase only that means you can only buy stuff at that shop and you the player can't sell their goods to the npc that you're making so basically it's easy to ch um set this up these are the the goods are basically merchandises all you do is right click edit or you could double click and then you pick the item you want let's go ahead and make him sell this sword which we made in a few tutorials back and give me a second i have to check on something real quick so once you pick what you want to sell you could when you um you could pick the type of pricing system that you want if you keep it as standards that means the price that you defined while making the items is a price that's going to be charged when you're selling but if you want to specific if you want to specify that um how much you want to charge for the sword then you could choose a specify and then sell it you can make this mar um like marching be like a blacksmith that sells stuff at a special price or something like that or you could just leave it as standards and you could add multiple items in here but for this for tutorial purposes we'll only look okay, at let's make it to this sword and this armor let's make him sell stuff and that's basically how you set up a uh, shop npc let's name this guy blacksmith I don't do this regularly, but I do recommend it. When you're making NPCs, always name them instead of like leaving the default event name. Name them so you know like with um um who's an NPC and who's like a regular event. You should always name your events. Although I personally don't do it, but you should always name your events. Now, let's make a. Uh, um, a regular NPC is a common NPC that just walks around, give you information and stuff like that. To start off again, you go to um, you go to graphics to pick what kind of graphics you want for your NPC. Let's see if I can find that graphics that I use for the other one. Come on, come on, yeah. Santa Claus. Oh, here it is. All right. So let's go ahead and make it this guy. Now we want the NPC to be walking around. You know, that's what regular NPCs do. So 
um, automotive. I don't know what that word, how to say that word, but basically, a um, movement just pe- um, put that at random speed. That's basically how fast. Um, that's basically how fast the NPC is moving, and frequency is how often the NPC moves at the speed that you define. So let's go ahead and make that um, slower and put this at higher. Um, then leave all of these the same. The only things you really need to change when you're making an NPC, unless you know what you're doing, is basically the graphics and the movements. The priority is going to be set for you, unless you want to do some crazy stuff. Like if you're making a ghost, you can make it like above character or something like that. And trigger, always leave it because it's going to set it for you to action, unless you want it to be these other stuff so basically leave those things leave everything over here except for graphics movement um in default unless you know what you're doing but if not just leave it like that because that's the only thing you really need to know so like regular npcs they always say something so um let's name this npc this boy so we could keep track of him this boy it's one word, this boy, not this boy. It's one word, like this sword. This boy, that's the name of this boy. The name of this boy is this boy. Okay, so let's make him say something. Um, um, this boy. Dun, 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 dun. Did I set my timer? Don't you just love so just in case people didn't know that it was an in he just says don't you just love this in to make you know that you're inside an in so don't you love this in basically they provide like basic information about the place you you are you're at and the place you're going to be going to or describe the world for you so um, regular NPCs are very important to build up your game. So again, we're gonna do this show choice and I'm gonna explain it to you. So he asked you a question, don't you just love this in? If you want the player to respond to this, um, to his question, you could do this show choice um, event command. What show choice does on the right side when cancel, that just means when you press escape, Will it just like this allow means that it won't allow you to escape from this and you must pick an option and the choices mean when you press escape it's going to jump to choice one or when you press escape it's going to jump to choice two and branch means when you press escape it's going to do something else that's not choice one choice two choice three or choice four and it's going to do something else so let's go ahead and make it when you disallow let's make it branch just for just for tutorials purposes. Yet, it's awesome. Question mark. No, I don't. Okay. So, as you can see, mm-hmm, instead of it um see um because you branched it it's gonna say when canceled that this is what happens when you press when you escape usually you will leave that at um at you won't put anything there but if you want something special to happen when you press escape you could do that and in this um kate in this case i could have just made the um the when canceled to choice two because then yeah, but just for, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna go back to choice two. That means when I pick when I press cancel, it's just gonna jump to choice two. Okay, this is basically what this does. It takes the two choices that I've defined, and if you leave it blank, it won't define it. But it basically leaves um um puts the two options that I've defined in one cases. That means when I pick the first option, which says yes, it's awesome, then it's gonna do something. And when I pick no, I don't. It's gonna do something else. That's not um, that's not choice one. It's gonna do something specific for choice two. And when I pick choice one, it's gonna do something specific for choice one. So let's go ahead and make him say. So when you say yes, it's awesome. This boy is gonna say. So it's not. Why is that happening? Just 
Oh, I am getting my laptop on Friday, so I'm going to be doing less plays of other games, like just not me. Some other um, some other games like Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, and some other games like that. So, because I'm trying to spend my channel, so it's not just me. Okay. All right. Um, when you say no, I don't. I'm just going to go ahead and say, oh. Okay. Period. This boy. So that's basically how you make NPCs. Um, yeah, we're gonna test all three of them out. So basically, all these events stack. That means you could have a choice and a choice and a choice and a choice. So I could basically like just copy this event right now, and then if I make it, if I paste it right here, when I pick, um, when I pick the first option, yes, it's gonna run. So it's not me. It's not just me then. Again, and then it's gonna give you another choice. It's awesome or no, I don't. And then when you run it again, it's just gonna run. So it's not just me again. You could make it stack, and you could you don't just. I mean, it stacks with not just itself. You could like put any event command in here, and everything basically just stacks. But yeah, it stacks. So this is basically a rent um a regular event. I mean a regular um NPC that basically just gives you information on the world. Why this um blacksmith is in the inn, I have no idea, but let's go ahead and test this out. Check up on my tongue. Okay. So as you can see, the um the blacksmith is just standing there not moving like we we wanted it to. And the uh, NPC, this boy, is just walking around like we wanted him to. Uh, let's start first with the end. I forgot how much we um, defined. I think it was five gold. So five gold for one night. Would you like to stay? It does everything for you. Even the conditions. It handles all that for you. So if you're making an end, just use that quick event creation. Now, Ness is a blacksmith. Last minute, what can I do for you? If you say nothing, nothing will happen. Because we didn't define anything to happen when we say nothing. And one, I require services would just bring up the the shop inventory. So I could buy this sword and this armor. Or I could sell nothing because I'm 100 percent broke. And then when we talk to this boy, um, don't you just love this in? And then we pick no, I don't. He's gonna say okay. But then when I say yes, it's awesome, he's going to say so, it's not just me then. And that's basically how you make NPCs. Now, if you want to make side quest NPCs and quest NPCs, that's different. And if you guys want me to do a video on that, I will do a video example of um, of like a mini side quest. And side quests are basically like main quests, but only like short and then it's not like very connected but I, if you guys want me to do a video on how to make side quests npcs and set up side quests and stuff like that just go ahead and leave me a comment and like the video and also if you want to see more of this video and this series make sure to subscribe remember every monday i'll be coming up with if um with tutorials for you guys so stay tuned and i will see you guys on the next episode 